Well, hello, everybody. I just want to have this conversation with you about truckers and farmers that have all joined a lawsuit over unworkable EPA emissions rules. It looks like ever since the Obama administration, the trucking industry has totally been under siege. They've been under attack, in my impression. But the trucking and agricultural trade groups joined a major lawsuit against the United States Environmental Protection Agency over stringent emission standards that they say could regulate trucking out of existence, which, as we know, we've been sort of keeping up with that over here. The lawsuit was filed in the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals on June 18th by Owner-Operator Independent Driver Association, National Corn Growers Association, and American Farm Bureau Federation, and the American Petroleum Institute, or API. The suit seeks to challenge the EPA's heavy-duty or HD vehicle emission standards for model years 2027 through 2032, requiring significant deployment of zero-emissions heavy-duty vehicles within the coming years. The new emission standards would require that the nation's long-haul trucking fleet go from almost no emissions these no emission trucks to 25% by the model year 2032. The rule affects truck manufacturers and is performance-based, allowing truck makers to choose the technology required to achieve the set emission standards, whether that be through advanced internal combustion engine vehicles, hybrid vehicles, plug-in hybrid vehicles, electric vehicles, I should say, and then also the electric the battery electric vehicles, which, as you know, for a regular car is going anywhere from eight to thirty thousand dollars and more right now for vehicles. So they're even considering the battery electric vehicles and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, which are absolutely worthless, even if it's just a car. But these are some of the options that they're giving the trucking industry. The lawsuit calls uh, the EPA's tough emission standards arbitrary, capricious, and abuse of discretion, and not in accordance with the law. And they ask the court to vacate the final rule, putting the standards in place. They say, quote, small business truckers make up 96% of the trucking and could be regulated out of existence. Well, you and I both know that's probably their goal. It continues with, if the EPA's unworkable heavy-duty rule comes into effect, this rule would devastate the reliability of America's supply chain and ultimately increase costs for consumers. Hmm. Mom and pop trucking businesses would be suffocated by the sheer cost of operational challenges of effectively mandating zero emission trucks. But this administration appears intent on forcing through its deluge of misguided environmental mandates. As the voice of over 15, well, let me get this right. As the voice of over 150,000 small business truckers, we owe it to our members and to every small business trucker in America to leave no stone unturned in fighting these radical environmental policies. This comes from Todd Spencer. He's the president of the Owner Operator Independent Drivers Association. Now, after the EPA final rule was published March of 2024, the ATA called the new emissions targets unachievable and warned that they're going to harm the supply chain and the U.S. economy. But as we know, those who are around right now don't care about that. As a matter of fact, everything that's highlighted in their lawsuit is pretty much part and parcel of what I believe they want. Hmm. Do me a favor and let me know down below in the comments what you think. Let me know. Take care. Hey, everyone. It's me, Felicia, of the Lockhart Perspective and Headlines with a Voice. I want to tell you a little secret. This is what I used to do because I don't do it anymore. I would go to the store, buy the barbecue sauce, pour it inside of a bowl, put a whole bunch of different spices, a dash of brown sugar, a dash of maple, and a dash of mustard, stir it all around, and everybody would be like, oh my gosh, this is the best, this is the best. But I was exhausted after all of that, and a lot of times I couldn't remember how many dashes of what I put in it. But I don't have to do that anymore, because now I just go to Judge Joe Brown's website, and I order his three-pack of bottled barbecue sauce. It is by far the best, and I do mean the best barbecue sauce I've ever eaten.